Hi, my name is uh, Craig Lee, and I've had a number of email questions and discussions about uh, what the various functions of the quantizer I'm building are. So I figured I will just make a quick video here that's going to explain some of it. The basic design of it is it's an eight channel quantizer. Each one of these channels is independent. It has an input, and the output will be a quantized version of the input. There's a section that selects a scale, a selection that selects the bank, and then there's a combination hold, sample, and hold mode. Start with the uh, LEDs. Basically these tell you which scale is selected. It's a binary readout. This is 0 or 1. This is 0 or 2, 0 or 4. So if we go up, we can see uh, increasing scale number. So you just, it's, it's a binary readout, so this is uh, 8 plus 2, so that's scale 10. And then the top one, 16, is the bank, turning that on. So this will be scale uh, 26. Channel 1 has a root note LED, so whatever note you have your VCO set to as your uh, root note of the scale, this light will be lit every time one of those octaves is... Um, is output by this. So if we just took this up to a uh, voltage source here. I apologize for the sound, it's just getting picked up by my camera here. So this is good if you're um, using a sequencer, you, at least you know where your um, base note of your scale is and then what all the intervals will be going up from there, um, depending on what scale you have selected. Channel 8 is different than all the other ones because it has a uh, gain control and then also an offset. This we'll just take an LFO from over here, plug that in. So as we go less gain, obviously the range of pitches is lower. And then if we invert, the whole quantizer module basically will uh, just ignore any negative voltages. So obviously if we're inverted, this is only going negative, so we can add an offset. So channel 8 is different than all the other ones because it has this. If when you're building it you don't want this functionality, you can. it's very easy to bypass it. So now if we go to um, scale select, there's a manual selection of the scale, and then there's voltage control selection of the scale. And these two are summed. Wherever you set this, then if you're in positive gain, any positive voltage applied will add to it. If you're in negative gain, any positive voltage will subtract. So if we take, again, we take the LFO, we can see it counting up. And then if we set this, we can see it'll count up from that point. And if we invert this, it'll count down from the point we have set. So these are these two are summed to give you a scale select. And then that's also the same for the bank select. If we hook a LFO in here, we can see the bank will go on and off. And then we can invert this. So if we have the bank, the high bank selected. Inverting this will cause the low bank to be selected. Okay, this section will select whether the um, quantizer is in hold mode or sample and hold mode. And I think I've probably labeled this a little confusing. Basically what it is, is it will be in track and hold or sample and hold. So normally it's in uh, free run mode if we take our oscillator and we just took up on an LFO to the input here. Now whenever this input goes high, 
the quantizer will hold. Now if we're in sample and hold mode, the quantizer will normally hold unless it gets a high voltage here, in which case it'll sample the input. So if we take this input and give that an LFO, we'll just get that sample and hold sound. And if we give it a random source, So those are um, the basic functions. I hope it's a little clearer to people now um, what's going on with it.